Study guide. Unit 1. Which angle is an acute angle? And everybody chose B, right? Yes, ma'am. Number 2. Each unit on the map represents 5 miles. What is the actual distance from ocean front to seaside? So it's this distance. What are the coordinates of seaside? Um, what are the coordinates of ocean front? And it doesn't matter which one you label X1, Y1. I'm just going to go with this. This will be X sub 2, Y sub 2, and the distance formula. X sub 2 minus X sub 1, all squared, plus Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1, all squared. Now, you might have used the Pythagorean theorem. Yeah. So we're going to plug in our values and we're going to have negative 2 minus 3 all squared plus 4 minus negative 2 all squared. Do the part in the parentheses. This is negative 5 all squared. This is going to be 6 squared. Square those, you're going to get 25 and 36. And when you add 25 and 36, 61. And the square root is 61. They want an approximate answer for that. Seven point eight, and the closest answer here is C, about eight. Oh, 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 oh. See, I made a mistake. Listen, I was checking to see if y'all were paying attention. <laughs> seven point eight units, and each unit is five, so that's going to be close to forty. Thirty-nine, which the best answer here is forty. Name the plane represented by the front of the box. The front of the box is the plane here. And the letters involved in that plane are B, J, C, G, K, and F. And you could use any of those three. Or Name the line in the plane shown in the diagram. The line is AB. The plane, you could call it plane C. You could also name it plane A, B, D. No, Miss Blanton, but it can't be C. C has a point. So it can't you can't be C? Is that what it said? Well, because it has a point. It has a point. It could be plane C, yeah. D. B, we could do that. Uh, I, yes, that's what I told you when we were going over that. And yes, that's right. It, had, it would have to be any three, but it couldn't be that one because it's a C. Okay. Number five, name the intersection of M-O-L and N-O-L. Where would they intersect? You don't even have a picture. Do you need one? No. 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 Where do they intersect, Carmelo? Like o L. Wouldn't it be line segment? Yeah, on the paper it said line. It said, but it should have said line. Okay. Well, Planes you? intersect in a line. I know this thing said a segment on it, but I'm telling y'all that the answer is a line. How do you picture that? Like, How do you yeah. picture that? If I had two sticky notes. Not under the screen. So two sticky notes like this. And then OL would be on here. How do you know it by looking at it? It's the parts they have in common. Okay. That's the simplest way. Number six, which plane is parallel to A, C, G, E? That's this plane over here. BDFH, and you could name it in any way you wanted to name it. Any of those three would work. Find BD. 
What's the length there? If T is the midpoint, there's that important word, midpoint, of SU, find the values of X and then go back and find ST. So what are we going to start off with? If it's the midpoint, then this section is equal to this section. They might put a little mark on it like that. That little mark means it's congruent. Congruent means the segments have the same length. Their measures are going to be the same. Solve for x. x is 16. Find the value of x, 16. Go back and find st. And 5 times 16 is 80. Which point is the midpoint of A, E? D, zero is the midpoint. M, O, bisects. The word bisect is a strong word. It means that it cuts it into two congruent parts. You see how I put one stripe in this angle and one stripe in that angle? That's what that indicates. L, L M, N, the big angle, is 6x minus 20. L, M, O, the small angle, is x plus 34. If it's congruent to this angle, what's this angle's measure? Um, x plus 34. So here's my equation. If you add x plus 34 to x plus 34, you're going to get 6x minus 20. So that gives me 2x plus 68 equals 6x minus 20. Solve. 68 equals 4x minus 20. Add the 20. 4x is 88. What did you get for x? 22. They want me to find NMO. So i got to come back over here and go 22 plus 34. And what is that going to be? 56 degrees. Okay, that's number 10. 11, find the distance between the points. So we're going to use the distance formula. This is x sub 1 and y sub 1, x sub 2 and y sub 2, and the formula says x sub 2 minus x sub 1 all squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all squared. And you plug it in. x sub 2 is 7. X sub 1 is 6, Y sub 2 is 7, Y sub 1 is 4, 7 minus 6 is 1, 7 minus 4 is 3. So I have the square root of 1 plus 9, which is the square root of 10. Round to the nearest tenth. So you're going to put it in your calculator. Three point two. Why is it three point two? Six makes it go up. Twelve says a high school soccer team. When we read number twelve, very important is that it says you're looking for something halfway between. So halfway between means you're going to use what formula? Midpoint. The midpoint formula says take x sub one and x sub two and average them, and then y sub 1 and y sub 2 and average them. So I'm going to use, this is x sub 1 and this is y sub 1, and this is x sub 2 and this is y sub 2. 3 plus 7 divided by 2, and 4 plus 1 divided by 2. 10 over 2 is 5, 5 over 2 is 2 and a half. This is the rest stop. It also asked me to find the distance. So I'm going to use the distance formula. I'm going to start with x sub 2, which is 7, minus x sub 1, which is 3, all squared, y sub 2, which is 1, minus y sub 1, which is 4. Y'all watch me now. Tell me if you see me make a mistake. 
Plug your numbers in correctly. This is going to be 4 squared plus negative 3 squared. 4 squared is 16. Negative 3 squared is 9. Don't let yourself think that's going to be negative 9. You're squaring negative 3. Okay, be careful. This is the square root of 25, which is 5. So the distance between the schools is 5 units, right? And they say a unit is 6.4. So this is probably like the other one where you're going to have to multiply it by 6.4. What's that going to be? Something like 30.2? About, about 32. Or it, is 32. it is. It is 32. But they're telling you it's, you see that little squiggle? Yeah. That, that's their approximation. So find the coordinates of the midpoint. The coordinates of this midpoint, you're going to do the same process. 10 plus 2 over 2 and 9 plus 1 over 2. You're going to end up with 6 comma 5. Any questions on midpoint or distance? Okay, are O, N, and M collinear? Yes. yes. Name the line. O, M, O, N. It doesn't matter. Our points B. J and C, collinear or non-collinear? Collinear. Name the fourth point in the plane X, Y, S. It is a diagonal slid in from the bottom. Something like this, okay? Like if you cut it, sliced it that way. So that answer is V. Well, X and Y. Okay, and S. But we don't know that there's no line to say that the plane. You know. There's a plane that exists there. Oh, it's slanted. slanted. Right. You don't have to see it for it to exist to there. To yeah, you got this. You got this. Name the ray. The only way you can name this is to call it N M because you have to start where it starts. So you're saying. In that box, there is a ray that goes. So here's the box. You got a ray that goes up. Both directions. I have another one that could go through. T U Y Z. Yes. Z. Yeah. That imaginary thing. But she's never done it in the box. She's We've talked about box. it coming in at the top of the ceiling and going out over there at the floor. Uh, that's that's the equivalent. Uh, if you came in from this part. And you strung a line over there, and the paper went that direction. Do you think you got it? I don't understand, I don't understand that one. Don't that, one's, that one's troubling you? I'm going to put a star by it. We'll talk about it when we get through going over the rest of these. Name the ray that's opposite FH. FH goes this direction. What goes the other direction? FE. That's the only way you can answer that question. There's no other right answer. If EOF is 40 and FOG is 21, what's the measure of EOG? Um, 61. Yes, super easy. If BOC is 21 and AOC, that's the big one, y'all, is 54, what is the measure of AOB? Good, you subtract. Name the four rays shown here. If you start at V... What would that ray be? V, v X. X, Y. You could have X, Y. X, Y, Z. X, Y, and X, Z are the same ray. X, Y. X, Y. X, Z. What if you started at Z? Z, Y. Z, Y. What if you started at Y and went the other way? Y, X. What if you started at X and went the other way? X, V. X, V. X, Y. You can do it. I got X, Y. Yeah. Multiple, multiple.